I've noticed I'm a better mom when I take a girl's trip, when I take a girl's night, when I take the time to go to the gym with myself. It's not selfish, it's me being able to get some alone time to recollect my thoughts and everything. But I think moms in general have a hard time with that. So usually we just get put on the back burner because we're making sure the kids' needs are met first, that they get to do everything they want to do. Husband's needs are met. You want to, or at least in my case, I want him to get as high up there as he wants to get. And I want to be that supportive back, backbone. If that means putting my career goals aside for however many years, then I'm willing to do it. And I just think women do that a lot. Like we set ourselves way on the back burner trying to help everyone else. This year has just been lots of highs and lots of lows. There hasn't been just a neutral chill in between, which is what I'm pretty used to. Well, he got deployed in September, and we really hadn't seen him since July. There's that worry about his safety, and then it just added more stress to the whole situation because I felt like between my kids and him and my mom, I was the one having to be strong. Well, my mom got sick in February and why ended up in the hospital. It was COVID related, but that was terrifying. Oh, I forgot the homeschooling. I am like the worst. It turns out I can't teach at all. Like I, I can do pre-K and that's about it. And that was, that was a huge struggle because I felt like I was family with my kids. Like, can't help you with your work because I don't really know what I'm doing. Like, I would love to help you with math. And, oh, and my sister had a baby. I forgot about that in the middle of the pandemic. She had it at the very beginning. So you get that joy and happiness, but you don't get to see him. And we got orders to move. I think it's with military uh, moms, we think that we should do it ourselves. Like our spouses are gone a lot. And so we really learn to rely on ourselves, but it's just everywhere you go, make yourself a little vulnerable, except the help. Like that is something I've definitely done here is if somebody offers to help, I take it. Actually, you know what my mom said recently to me that just like made my whole world? She looked at me and just said, you're a strong woman. I raised a strong woman. I'm proud of you. And that just, I don't know, that replays in my head constantly because she's told me, I'm sure even more and more, how much she loves me and that she's proud of me and everything. But for her to tell me that she considers me a strong woman, that was, that was huge.